vocal percussion on a whole nother level coming from my mind. 10 anime characters who basically have Conqueror's Haki. The Conqueror's Haki is only for the most brilliant characters in One Piece, but these 10 also fit the characteristics of a Conqueror. Only 1 in a million people are blessed with Conqueror's Haki, and only the strongest of the strongest characters in One Piece can use it, although the users are as different as Nine and Day, such as Doflamingo and Luffy, they all possess the characteristics of kings and are insanely talented. Though the concept might be unique to One Piece, it is easy to see how it could apply to other anime franchises. There are many anime characters out there who it is effortless to visualize them being a conqueror. They are cool, talented, and very popular within their fan bases. Although there is no metric to measure talent, these geniuses are the best anime characters who basically have conqueror's haki. Gohan from Dragon Ball Z the genius son of Goku, Gohan, has proved time and time again that he can take over when the rest of the Z fighters are in a slum. He stole the show during the Cell Saga when he took down the mighty Cell in one of anime's most intense rage moments that transformed him into Super Saiyan 2. With even more potential than Broly or Vegeta, he gave up the fighting life to study and be with his family, which made him even more popular, but he never hesitates to get into the ring when needed. He is one of the coolest in the series, and since the Conqueror Haki is reserved for the most gifted, it is easy to see him having it if he were in one piece. As Death from Akamega Kill one of the most cruel and sadistic characters in anime, as death is as powerful as she is beautiful. She is a cruel general who abides by the philosophy of the strong survive and the weak die. With a kill count of over 400,000, she has secretly incited rebellions just so she would get the chance to end them. Few are as evil as her, and she is an incredible villain who made Akamega kill that much better. With that talent and aura that fit the typical conqueror, as death would definitely be blessed with the rare Haki. She is the embodiment of a conqueror as she travels far and wide taking over lands. <laughs> Olivia Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Balancing her role as the heir to the Armstrong family and her duty as general of the Fort Briggs, Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood's Olivia is a cold and calculating woman whose presence is extremely intense. Although she is a hero in the series, her personality makes her look more like a villain. With a survival of the fittest attitude, Olivia works her soldiers to the bone and expects great things from them. She's even harsher to anyone she considers an enemy, and although she cannot do alchemy, she is very strong. As one of the best female anime characters, Olivia is a natural-born leader. Tengen Uzui from Demon Slayer Perhaps the coolest character in Demon Slayer, Tengen, is the sound Hashira and a ninja. He is all about the flash and glamour as shown by his grand and pompous design. Average is not in his dictionary, as he makes sure he puts his heart into everything he does. The entertainment district art was heightened because of him, and his fight against Gyutaro demonstrated just how cool he is. He did not even stop when he lost an arm and had poison circulating through his body. As awesome as he is, he is just as humble and admits that there are people more talented than him. If anyone in Demon Slayer would have Conqueror's Haki, it would be Tengen. Deluge from Code Geass 
As one of the smartest characters in anime, Lelouch was in control almost the whole time in Code Geass. Although his goal of taking down the evil empire of Britannia was noble, he was more of an anti-hero as he used and discarded anyone he needed to. He did anything for his goals but abandoned them at the drop of a hat for his younger sister. He has an incredible power called Geass that lets anyone who looks into his eyes be under his control. He is as complex as he is cool and he changed the world for years to come at the age of 18. <laughs> Levi Ackerman from Attack on Titan Known as humanity's strongest soldier, Levi is probably the most popular character in Attack on Titan. A quiet and easily irritated man, Levi has the highest Titan kill count in Attack on Titan, and it is his efforts together with Eren and his friends that gave humanity their first victory against the Titans in the return to Shiganshina arc. His best moments involve him absolutely decimating his opponents, killing tens of Titans or humans sometimes. Levi drew in many fans is definitely a big reason why Attack on Titan is so popular. Sinbad from Magi Sinbad conquered so many dungeons and possessed so many jinn that he was no longer allowed near one for fear that he would become too powerful. An adventurer at heart, he made companions out of unruly and violent people, and together they united multiple countries to form the Seven Seas Alliance. He is one of the most powerful if not the most powerful in the world of Magi. His mere name opens boundless doors and opportunities. Magi has a spin-off series dedicated to his teen years and how he came to be so extraordinary, and really makes a case as to why it is one of the best fantasy anime. <laughs> Makima from Chainsaw Man. The conniving and deceptive public safety agent will do whatever she needs to get what she wants. The recent anime did Maki justice by showing just how scary she can be, and later seasons will reveal the shocking truth about who she truly is. She is just as powerful as she is tactical, brutally killing multiple men who attack her colleagues hundreds of kilometers away. With the announcement of a Chainsaw Man Season 2, hopefully on the horizon, fans will truly see Makima for the scary and badass character she is. Gojo Satoru from Jujutsu Kaisen Known as the strongest sorcerer alive, Gojo Satoru shook the core of the Jujutsu society when he was born, altering the balance between humans and curses. He cruised through life, defeating everyone as he was just too overpowered. Although he has found a match in Sukuna, Gojo towers above everyone else. As much as he saves people, he cannot be considered a hero as he is way too dark and complex. He is a great leader, recruiting and mentoring students who went on to be powerful such as Yuta Okotsu and Hakari Shinji. Gojo Satoru is a heartthrob and one of the most entertaining characters ever. <laughs> Madara Uchiha from Naruto Shippuden Madara's name was invoked by Obito when he was declaring war so he could be taken seriously. He took on thousands of ninjas from all over the world including Kages at once and annihilated them. Most incredible of all, Madara took on some of the most legendary ninjas of all time, all tailed beasts and hundreds of shinobi while he was blind. 
Madara Uchiha is the embodiment of genius and talent. There are very few villains or even characters as great as he is, and his personality and abilities would make him a conqueror.